M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we've got the OpenGD77 firmware into the RT3S and it's excellent. I've only been on it for about three minutes. Just had a chat in America on Talk Group 91. Sounds great. Am I yeah, fine, Doug. Well, uh, yes, we... Uh, and my audio re report back was very, very good, much. as it would be with a RT3S or an MD380. They're a very tried and tested radio, but this has different firmware. So I just thought I'd show you a close-up of the menu uh, otherwise, the radio operates fine, and you know, I'll just watch me what I do, and you'll see how the actual top knob, uh, the sort of channel change knob, is also helping us with the with the the menu as well. So let's have a close up. Uh, we just turn that down a bit. So let's just go up and down the menu. So we'll start at the top, if there is a top, and we're just gonna look at a few things and, and just select them. So let's start from firmware info and work our way down. So we'll select using the green button and there's our firmware info. Go back with the red button, down, we've got language. Lots of languages there. Down, options. So we've got display options, which I, I just used. Select and then we turned the top middle knob to make it brighter and darker and we'll just go up and down those selections within that And there's so much I mean look Color invert we did that mobile mode auto main minimum brightness brightness that we're on time time zone Battery contact order color invert Okay, then we'll go back one. We're going to go to sound options, go down one, and then we're going to select it with green, and then we're going to turn the knob again to adjust. Timeout beep. Let's go up and down. Beep volume. Timeout. DMR receive. Vox tail. Vox threshold. FM mic gain. DMR mic gain. So we've got mic gain there. Okay, we'll go back. Then we'll go to general options, green button. We are going to use the hotspot. I want to give that a go tonight, hopefully. Hotspot off. We're definitely going to try that out. You connect it to a cable. You can connect it to Blue DV or a normal Pi Star hotspot. And then you just select it in your Pi Star settings. You select the uh, MMDVM to be an open GD77. And it, and it works. I've seen it work. I've, I've been told by people that have tested. Auto power off, sat manual, not sure what that is, APO, GPS off, so that's, I'm gonna turn that on. And oh, that's who's talking now, look. We probably shouldn't hold the channel too, too long. So I'll just push the menu again. Options, general options, GPS, then you turn the knob to turn it on, so that's, that's on now. Sat manual. Oh yeah, we've got satellite mode. Key long. Yeah, the long and short key for the programmable buttons. Key repeat. Leave hotspot off. Temperature. Look. Battery. Oh, that good, Brian. Well, say hello to Judy for us. Auto power off. Okay, and then we'll go back. We're going to go down to radio options. Select band limit. Filter time, user power, DMR, what was that one, I missed that one, DMR, not sure what that is, allow PC, UHF squelch, PT latch, UHF squelch 45, yeah we know what that is, VHF squelch, and it actually says 220 squelch, so you're telling me that this radio does 220 megahertz, that's news to me, PTT, DMR latch, I'm going to go back. So we've looked at all those options. And then, then there's, let's look at what we've got here. Last heard. Can we scroll that? No, but there's last heard. Back. Radio info. That's the battery. Looks like the battery anyway. Satellite. Now, we probably haven't got a GPS lock, but let's push it anyway. Not set, so we need to set. Yeah, I did see that in the instructions that it won't work unless you put in your location and things like that. 
So GPS, we've turned on zone. We've got a few zones in here. They're the zones that I've put in, but it will hold many, many zones. We've even got my open spot four in there. We'll play with that later. Contacts, I've only put in about 10 contacts. DMR. There you go. That's the contacts that I put in. And we looks like we're going up and down with the arrows. If I choose a different one, does that mean it's going to change? I'll just do it just to see if it does. And then we'll go back, back, back. No, it's still on the same contact that I was on, which was talk group 91. Menu again. Uh, contacts, channel details. That says hotspot, says the frequency, the mode, the time slot, and eco, whatever that is. RSSI. Is that just a signal meter, is it, or it's sound? November 4, Charlie. Charlie it looks like it's sound. Firmware info, language options, last heard. Let's put that in. That's who just called through. Radio info, G bit. So there you go. That's a, that's a quick overview. And uh, I just think it looks fantastic. And you've got to think about the, you know, the potential for this. It's basically a programmable radio. The hardware, the hardware is in there already, isn't it? The, it's typical it's going all blurry now. We're at the end. We know it's a VHF, UHF. I know it did say 220 megs, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, but we know it's a VHF, UHF, DMR radio. It's got a good speaker, good microphone. It's got a color screen. It's got programmable buttons. It's, everything's there to experiment with. So I hope you find that interesting. And catch you on air, 7.3. So it's the Open GD77 firmware. And thanks very much to the team that have made that.